Hey guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome again to Cooking 101. I just finished work today guys, but I'm off tonight. So I decided to cook before going to bed. So today we're going to make a nice soup. It's a very simple plain soup, but it's very, very healthy. Um, for those of you that are having a hard time eliminating your bowel, this is the best, you know, this is the best food that you guys can eat. Um, high in fiber and more on protein, less carbohydrate. So anyhow, our soup for today is made from chicken and papaya. Yes, guys, papaya. So I'm going to show you guys all my recipe and hopefully you guys like it. But before anything else, I would like to say hello to all of our new subscribers, guys. 400 people more and we're going to reach the 5,000 subscribers and I just want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing on my channel and for giving me the support thank you guys so much so anyhow um yes I'll show you guys all my recipe and hopefully you guys like this dish okay and for those of you who tried my my dishes um the one that I posted here on my channel please let me know what you guys think okay because I really want to hear from you guys so let me show you guys all my ingredients and we'll start from there so friends, these are all our ingredients. I have here almost like three kilo of uh, chicken. This is the Thai and the back. We have carrots, celery, Chinese cabbage. We have um, red onions here. And for those of you that are new on my channel, you guys, I know it looks so much. Three whole onions and the reason for that is because onions always give a nice flavor to any dish that you guys want to cook and you guys don't have to worry about you know having so many onions floating around because the more the the water boil it's just dissolved on the water so you guys don't have to worry about it and over here i have uh, scallions ginger i have my beans here whole black peppercorn and this is the uh, magic syrup all-in-one seasoning ink granules you guys can get uh, this um, seasoning here to any Asian supermarket or to any um, any Filipino store um, if you guys have Filipino store close to your house so you guys can just go there and get that one and of course we have the chicken uh, nor um, stock mix and and I have here our papaya, guys. This is not chayote. I know it looks like chayote, especially the way I slice them. But this is the papaya. Um, this is the cooking papaya, like very, very raw papaya. And this makes a good soup for this dish. Look at this, friends. I have one more papaya here. I'm going to use this papaya for my uh, atsara. I'm going to make pickled atsara probably uh, tonight or tomorrow. But for today, this is what we're going to make. And this is what our dish for this afternoon for lunch. All right. So let's go and um, let's start our cooking. Over here, I have two pots one for boiling the chicken first before making it into a soup and this big pot over here this is going to be my pot for my soup so anyhow i'm just waiting for the water to boil and then uh, we're going to put our chicken boil it for like five ten minutes before making it into a soup okay on this pot over here we can put our ginger and onions right we're just gonna put everything in here oh my beans got stuck in there i'm gonna get that one out late later okay we're gonna put all of our onions here and then we're just going to let this boil until it is ready for our chicken so that's what we're going to do first. We're going to wait for this water to boil and then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay friends, now we're going to put our chicken. And again, like I said a while ago, we're just going to boil this chicken for like 5-10 minutes. Just enough to remove all this chicken's residue and at the same time, you know, there's like 
blood all over like you know on the bones and stuff so we just want to remove that because you don't want that in your soup right why did you know I have a bruise there hmm. okay so we're just going to put everything here and let it simmer let it simmer for like five ten minutes Man, I really have a big bruise. Look at that, you guys, eh? Hey? Anyhow. Okay, so I'll show you guys the next step. We're just going to boil this one for 5-10 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, friends, with our soup, we're going to put um, some black pepper. Black pepper. Okay, that's good enough. And then we're also going to put our seasoning mix so we're going to add two of our magic syrup seasoning two of them at the same time and also we're going to add our um, chicken seasoning mixing one teaspoon of the uh, chicken mix and friends we're going to mix um, four tablespoon of the fish sauce there you go Okay friends, 10 minutes is over. We're going to remove all of this chicken from this um, pot here. Then we're going to put it over here. There, that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove all of this chicken here and put it in a pot here. Okay, so let me do that and then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay friends, so I already put all of our chicken here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our papaya and our beans, okay? So let's start with our papaya. Okay, so we're adding our papaya now. There. I'm going to give it a little good mix here. And then we're going to add our long beans. This is rich in fiber, you guys. It's good for people that are having a hard time to eliminate their bowel. There. Okay. And we're also going to add our carrots. And we're going to let this one simmer for uh, 10 minutes. Okay, friends, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, put our um, Chinese cabbage. I always put this one last because I don't want this one to be overcooked. I like it when the stem is a little bit crunchy when you guys eat it. I don't know, it's just me. But if you guys want all of this, everything, like, really cook, then, yeah. You can put it a little bit early okay and i have more here and also we're going to add our scallions okay now we're going to add our scallions but let me just like make sure that these are all soaked like that so it will cook i just want our chinese cabbage to be like half cooked and then we're going to put all of our scallions just give me one minute okay okay so we're just going to leave this one for like five ten minutes and then um, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. So, all right. 
Okay guys, this is our finished product. This is our chicken soup with papaya. And of course, I also mix other vegetables like uh, the beans and uh, the baby, um, the Chinese cabbage and carrots, celery and other things. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day everyone. And I hope you guys like this dish. Um, if you guys have any dish that you guys want me to make, please don't you know don't hesitate to leave um your message on the description box below thank you guys for watching again and thank you to all of my new subscribers for subscribing on this channel and also i would like to say thank you to all of my good friends my old subscribers who's been with me from the day i started youtube thank you guys we only need 400 people to reach the 5,000 subscribers you guys so if you guys haven't subscribed on my channel yet sorry i keep repeating it please don't forget to subscribe Thank you guys for watching again. Have a blessed day everyone and may the good Lord bless us all. Okay friends, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, put our um, Chinese cabbage. I always put this one last because I don't want this one to be overcooked. I like it when the stem is a little bit crunchy when you guys eat it. I don't know, it's just me. But if you guys want all of this everything like really cook, then yeah. You can put it a little bit early. Okay, and I have more here. And also, we're going to add our scallions. Okay, now we're going to add our scallions. But let me just like make sure that these are all soaked like that so it will cook. I just want our Chinese cabbage to be like half cooked. And then we're going to put all of our scallions just give me one minute okay okay so we're just going to leave this one for like 5-10 minutes and then um, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. So, alright.